So the next video that we're going to do is over some of the structures of the eye and the orbit. So we'll go over the muscles of the eye as well as any nerves that we can see within the orbit and other extraocular structures. So we're looking here at the lateral aspect of an equine head. The zygomatic arch has been removed here, allowing us to visualize the orbital structures. The first structure you're going to come to is this glandular structure right here in the dorsal aspect of the orbit. That's the lacrimal gland. And running directly to the lacrimal gland is usually a nerve. We see right here, running directly into the lacrimal gland, that's going to be the lacrimal nerve. And that lacrimal nerve is going to be running over a muscle in the lateral aspect of the orbit. So that's going to be the lateral rectus muscle. If we go in kind of a clockwise fashion, I'm going to kind of just move the eyeball in the orbit just so you can see. So again, to orient, we have our lateral rectus. Now we have a very, very thin muscle right here running up into the upper eyelid. So this is the levator palpebrae superioris. And just ventral to that is this muscle right here, which is the dorsal rectus muscle. As we continue to move and rotate clockwise, again, for orientation, we have the levator palpebrae superioris. Let's focus on that ear. There we go. And the next muscle we come to is the dorsal oblique muscle. We can see the dorsal oblique and its muscle belly and tendon wrapping around this object, which is the trochlea. Just deep to that muscle, we will find a nerve, and right here is an artery running with it, but the nerve that's just deep to or ventral to the dorsal oblique is going to be the infratrochlear nerve. Next, we will reflect that eyeball, allowing us again, just for orientation purposes, to see the dorsal oblique muscle. And we can see the nerve running directly into that dorsal oblique muscle, which is the trochlear nerve, or cranial nerve four, which is providing motor innervation to that muscle. Here again, we can see the infratrochlear nerve. And we can see the medial rectus muscle. Next, if we flip that eyeball kind of dorsally here, we can now see this muscle that has been cut in cross-section and was attaching to the ventral aspect of the orbit, so that's going to be the ventral oblique muscle. And finally, this muscle here, which is going to be the ventral rectus muscle and usually lying right over top of the ventral rectus muscle is going to be a nerve traveling up to the ventral oblique muscle. That's a branch of the oculomotor nerve, specifically the ventral branch of the oculomotor nerve. The only other nerve that we haven't really talked about is this nerve right here that's kind of running up inside the dorsal aspect of the orbit, and that's going to be the frontal nerve. Also, if we look in between some of these muscles, again, I'm going to reflect the eyeball medially, and if we separate some of these muscles, we're gonna move that dorsal oblique out of the way, and we're gonna move that medial rectus out of the way. Deep under all of those are gonna be a couple little strands of muscle. Those are going to be your retractor bulbi muscles. The last muscle, or the last uh, structure that we're going to go over includes these two nerves out here laterally that would have been within the periorbita, and that's going to be parts of the zygomatic nerve. And the zygomatic nerve has two parts. We have a zygomatico-temporal nerve and a zygomatico-facial nerve. We see both of those branches right here.